Ooh. What's up? What's going on, Pisces? Hope y'all are doing well. Let's see what the energy is for Pisces for the end of April 2020. God and just very What's the messages for Pisces? All right. That's just for Pisces. That will help Pisces at this time. What we got here? Three. All right. We can go with those. All right, Pisces. So we have, wow, Five of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. All right. So Five of Swords here, Pisces. Mmm. Wow. Why do they be hating so much? I don't get it. I don't understand, man. All Pisces trying to do is put everybody on, be there to support everybody. You know what I'm saying? Give compliments, you know, trying to do your best and lead, lead, live your life as an example and shit. All right. I feel like you've been achieving things left and right, Pisces. All right. You've really been victorious. Um, you've really had your eye on the prize. You've been able to, you know, go towards your goals in a way that other people just have not been able to. All right. Because of this, you have created some sort of resentment. The way you have been moving has created resentment. All right. And it's also isolated you. People have turned their backs on you, Pisces. All right. Now, I'm not going to be one sided here. I'm not going to be biased. Maybe in a way, Pisces, we've turned our backs on people, too. All right. Maybe we're not trying to be so understanding and trying to be so agreeable anymore. Maybe we have just allowed people to turn their backs on us and we do the same damn thing now is that is that the best way to handle it probably not but when you're just through you're just through and I feel like a lot of Pisces are just too through with people and their energy and the jealousy and you know try not to do too much and try not to cause too many rifts and waves all right you've definitely created a situation where someone sees you as some sort of competition they feel like you know, that they see you as a sneaky person who, you know, gets what they want um, by not doing things the right way. Or you have people coming at you trying to be sneaky towards you. You know what I'm saying? This Queen of Wands in the reverse definitely could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, but yeah, I feel like this person may, may have turned their back on you. This Queen of Wands in the reverse. Somebody is just not happy with what they're seeing all right someone is very very jealous of what you got going on I really don't feel like this is your energy I really don't feel like you're jealous I really don't I feel like this is outside energy because I see people in the distance who have turned their backs who refuse to even look at you you know just saltiness like why are people being so salty I don't understand it. Um, this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, too. I feel like some of you guys who may have been waiting for some sort of offer of some sort. It doesn't have to be a romantic offer, but any sort of offer. Maybe, um, you know, some type of opportunity to make some type of money. Something's coming very slowly. All right. On top of that, you're moving slowly. You feel pretty lazy. Or somebody feels pretty lazy about moving towards you. All right. You honestly, I don't feel, I honestly feel like Pisces, you don't understand or appreciate what you have or how much you've riv risen. And I feel like you're picking up on other people's energy and thoughts about you and you got to protect yourself. All right. Because People around you are sending you some type of messages or putting some type of things out in the universe, trying to trying to get you back secretly, you know, trying to sabotage you secretly. And let me tell you all something like I 
I was scrolling on YouTube the other day, ran across this reader. You know, she's a dope reader or whatever. I don't even remember her name right now, but she's a dope reader. But she had some videos of like some rituals that she was like hexing people. And, you know, she made like a little doll to try to like want to, I guess, try to ruin whatever this enemy of hers had going on she was like wishing bad things upon the person throwing dirt on it and she burnt some shit I was like oh hell no nah. like I can't believe people really spend their energy focused on another person's downfall like how does that happen <laughs> you know like I don't want to throw any shade towards this person but this person was a very I thought this person was super spiritually enlightened like some of her readings were just on point. But then when I came across these videos of her spending so much energy towards negativity, trying to get someone back who did her wrong, trying to, you know, uh, sabotage someone's life who did her wrong. I'm like, you really not as spiritually awakened as what I had thought, you know, because when you are, you're never going to spend so much time on another person's downfall and I don't care what they did to you you're just gonna move on and know that things are gonna fall in place the way they need to know that karma is real <laughs> you don't have to go wasting your energy trying to get someone back in a negative way because karma and the way the world works things are going to fall into place what people give is what people are gonna get and you don't have to put forth that energy to make sure that happens all you have to do is learn the lesson keep it moving all right so I don't know I just thought that was inter interesting and it really just opened my eyes to like how far people who don't like you may go to sabotage you like y'all don't even know because I'm pretty sure that person in the video she didn't even know <laughs> that she was being hexed you know what I'm saying so it's just like, don't, Pisces, don't sleep on your enemies. Don't sleep on your enemies. Keep an eye on them. A distant eye, but be aware. All right? Be aware. Because you do have some people who are not happy with your progress. And they're trying to send energies to kind of make you, make you fall out of the habits that got you to your successful place in life. All right? It's time for you to really, really, you know, wake up and understand that everybody doesn't have your best interest sometimes at heart. Oh, Lord, the devil car. Wow. All right. It's in it's in my reverse, though, y'all. So maybe some of y'all are freeing up some unhealthy attachments. The world energy. Wow, man. People are pig Pisces. I'm telling you. You're elevating to some new level. Somebody here is trying to keep this chain that they had with you. They're trying to keep that chain connected. And you're trying to free yourself. This double energy here. It could be a person. It could be a thing. I think in my last reading, I said a lot of Pisces are indulging. Could be drinking a lot, smoking a lot, sleeping a lot, eating a lot. All types of just, you know, low energy type of... um things happening for you right now but you are trying to consciously break that cycle you are trying to consciously break that chain and I feel like this world energy here in the reverse somebody is just definitely trying to resist this this inevitable fate of you elevating of you going to the next level the next stage you know somebody's trying to keep you here keep you at a lower energy all right. And I don't know why, like, it's really bothering me because I, f I do feel like there are some people who just don't want the best for Pisces. They just don't. And these unhealthy attachments, these unhealthy changes, it's almost like people wish this on you. And at this time, y'all may be finding it very hard to stay focused. You may be finding it very hard to stay on that path that got you where you are right now. It Everything takes extra energy at this time for you, Pisces. All right. So try to protect yourself, pray over yourself, ask for guidance, ask for, you know, your guardian angels to be with you to block out any negative energies coming towards you. 
All right. And when you sleep, because I've been having some crazy dreams, y'all. I can't even really speak on them because they're so crazy. They're so like esoteric and just hard to understand and just very like 5D. You know, it's definitely like my dreams have just been out of this world. Um, some super important messages, though. So let's see if there's any messages here in regards to dreams. Spirit may be trying to have you understand. At this time, okay. Destiny, wow. Destiny, and then we have attraction. Wow, so this all could be over someone who was attracted to you, Pisces, who feel like like you're moving on without them. I just feel like there's some type of energy trying to bring you down. They just, they don't want you to move on without them, all right? But this is your destiny, all right? Your dreams are going to open you up to your destiny, going to make you understand it a bit, a bit better, all right? This says, my dreams show me that I am the co-creator of my life and my destiny, all right? You control this. It doesn't matter what negative wishes people have for your life none of that shit matters because you control this ship you control where you're going all right attraction i attract a loving happy fulfilling relationship into my life all right so a lot of you guys could be focusing on that right now hoping for that wishing for that and you could feel nothing but negative vibes around you maybe trying to pull you away from what it is that you're truly going after what your destiny truly is don't even don't even think about falling into that trap of those lower energies all right do what you need to do clear your space clear your head do some yoga listen to some music all right take do some herbal therapy but not in excess not in excess all right the key word here at the end of the month pisces is april it's been a crazy month but by the end of it you're going to be back in control you're going to be back on your destined path and nobody can stop you, period. All right? So I truly hope these messages helped you, Pisces. Please let me know if they did in the comments below. If you're looking for a personal reading, go to PiscesRS.com. Um, yeah. And uh, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.